Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if you're getting the Valorant game error code 7 on Windows 11 and how to fix it in no time. But before we dive in into any solutions, always make sure to restart the game. This is super simple but it will fix many issues. Restart the game or even try restarting your PC. So press the Windows button then select the power icon and then click on the restart option and then wait until the PC is restarted. But if this doesn't work, let's just get to the first solution. So the first solution is to perform a clean boot on Windows 11. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in msconfig, and then select system configuration from the search results. Now in here, just head over to the services tab, and make sure to tick the box next to hide all Microsoft services, and then click on the disable all button. Now just click on apply and ok to save the changes, restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another great solution is to update Windows 11. Now press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards click on Windows update on the left pane and then on the right side select the check for updates button. Windows will now try to scan for the latest updates for your PC and then you can download and install them automatically. Afterwards, after downloading and installing them, your PC will have to be restarted and afterwards you can just check if the problem still persists. Alternatively, then, alternatively, there's one more solution that you can try, which is to update your device drivers. To do this, right-click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options and in here make sure to expand the Display Adapter section and right-click on the problematic device, which is your graphics card. Now click on the update driver option, then select search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to scan and find the best possible drivers already available on your PC. You can then close this window, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to close the background apps, as sometimes they may be in conflict with your Riot Vanguard or simply the Valorant game. To do this, right click on the Windows button, then select Task Manager from the list of options. Now in here, all the background processes that seem a bit suspicious or that you don't need, just right click on them and then select the End Task option. Now you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to uninstall and reinstall the Valorant game. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, afterwards click on apps on the left pane and then on the right side select the installed apps category. Now in here just scroll way down until you find the Valorant game and afterwards click on the ellipsis next to it and select the uninstall option. Now after the game will be uninstalled, just make sure to head over to the Riot client and reinstall the game. And afterwards you can check if the problem still persists. Another great method is to use DriverFix which is a free updater application for Windows. So basically DriverFix scans your whole system and then searches the web for the most recent drivers. And from there on you can choose to update the drivers you need manually or all at once if you upgrade to the Pro version. So make sure to check it out and get it for free by accessing the link in the description below. And that's it, super simple, isn't it? Of course if this video helped you, Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.